I would like to welcome you to our morning seminar uh, for the uh, opening of the academic year 2012-2013. We have chosen uh, the theme of networking because we have over the last year or so in the process of uh, writing up our new strategic program, we really did an inventorization on how many networks we really have internally, externally with our partners. And we thought it would be a good idea to, to devote this to uh, this morning's uh, theme uh, that we really say we really want to talk about this network and we also give our network partners the opportunity to discuss with each other and uh, also discuss with you, the audience. Because what we found out, if you write up such a strategic program and you try to cluster certain themes in a university, it is you meet a lot of uh, soloists in the organization, they meet each other and then they discover common interests and they form groups, interest groups and larger structures. So that's the process we went through and um, it um, even has inspired some people here working in our environment. If you know the famous column, columnist Albert Bergbruder, he even uh, entitled his recent article with Ich bin ein Netzwerker. And uh, that brings me back to the language we have this morning. Uh, we'll speak uh, in English. But if you have questions, you also can use English or Dutch. No other languages such as German, French, or Spanish will be allowed. Uh, the program this morning really has three parts. The first part, we, we'd like to, to share with you some insights into our new strategic program, which, by the way, is, is available outside as a text, uh, small brochure where you can read it, and give you some, because a strategic program is also very abstract. Uh, it's a vision, it's a mission of university, and we would like to, to show you some actually examples how we fill this in. So we have three presentations uh, uh, around our big uh, themes that we have chosen. That's the first part. The second part, uh, and uh, I would like to thank the responsible institutions, it's not raining today. We have a so-called network plaza, which is a new format where we have uh, almost an hour devoted towards networking for you. Uh, with all the partners, we have more than 40 posters of, of large partners, small partners. Uh, for example, we have a whole cluster uh, surrounding the University Medical Center, which is, of course, a large, uh, very large partner uh, for us. But we also have small initiatives, and they're all there to talk to you, present themselves, and also talk to each other. And then the third part, and that's, that's uh, probably the, uh, also very interesting. Uh, we have invited the, the, the young representatives of the political parties, most parties. I'm very grateful that they came here just in this pre-election time to debate with us and with you to uh, really uh, talk about issues of internationalization, the higher education structure in the Netherlands. So I'm very grateful that we are here. And this is, of course, then leading up first to lunch, and then later we go to the Freithof uh, Theater for the official opening of the academic year, where we have Franz van Fucht, uh, uh, one of uh, the big experts on higher education in Europe and in the Netherlands, who is also recently uh, the chair of the review commission that evaluated universities and the whole show. He will give uh, his presentation. And again, also new, I've never done this before, there is a, a Twitter account open that was also here on the screen, we'll come back uh, uh, later on. So you all can Twitter uh, and you also can then participate when we have the debate. You can either ask questions on the microphones or you can put on comments on Twitter and then we we'll monitor those and also occasionally we'll go back to the discussion on these questions or remarks that come up on Twitter. That's a bit the menu for this morning, and, and I will start by just giving a really short, broad introduction in our strategic program to really set the stage for the three speakers and the later discussions and the network plaza to, to give the frame where we operate. Well, this strategic program was something that went through a, a rather long process. It started some years ago when uh, the uh, executive board installed uh, think tanks from this broad participation of the university to really collect ideas from the university, from all our uh, internal stakeholders, should I say. Then it went through a process of writing, rewriting, exploring, discussions uh, uh, in, uh, of course, the university council with the deans, 
We also had some external uh, um, feedback and then really this developed into a process that initially it was supposed to start in 2011, but it took a bit longer, so we started with uh, the implementation part of this program in this year. Well, um, this is, by the way, the uh, Twitter account uh, when you want to join uh, the panel debate. You also can, of course, uh, use this account earlier on if you want to uh, make some comments and we'll look at that and we'll come back later to that. So this is the program that I just uh, went uh, through. Um, and uh, just let's talk about our strategic program. What, what's the profile of this university? Uh, it has a mission that's called leading in learning. And this is, by the way, not, not an arrogant statement that you are leading, but that you want to lead. Leading is a process and not a statuary uh, thing. We are very international. As a university, we are, uh, most of our programs, with some exceptions, are taught in English, even at the bachelor level. We have an international classroom that's becoming more and more international. And we have, we have a, a, a flavor for multidisciplinary research because we believe if you want to address grand challenges in society, you have to approach them in a multidisciplinary way. Our big themes are quality of life, learning and innovation in Europe in a globalizing world. And these are, of course, sound very broad, but we will talk to you today in our presentations what we really mean by this. And we define our network university. We are networking with knowledge institutes. For example, you see here that the University in Eindhoven, um, the University of Tilburg, and uh, also that's what we call the Brainport universities. We are here in the south eastern part of the Netherlands and talk to each other how we can um, work together in this knowledge region. But we also have good contacts with the RWTH in Aachen. We have a, a letter of intent signed to collaborate in research and also possibly in education. And we have a long-standing tradition with the university in Hassel, the, even uh, the transnational university of Limburg. And here's some of our business partner, network partners, the largest one that we, uh, of course, also work together in the so-called top sector in the Netherlands. And we also uh, have, of course, uh, partners in, in, in the government. And we are very grateful for the support of the province of Limburg, but also, uh, I should say, the municipalities in this region, which formed uh, a, a network called LED, Limburg Economic Development. And of course, uh, uh, with the different ministries, EL and E and OCMV, the Ministry of, of, of uh, Economics and Innovation, and of course, the Ministry of Higher Education. Now, when you start with such a um, strategy, you, of course, you get kind, kind of this cloud. A uh, lot of things, a lot of buzzwords. And this is not a strategy. You know, you have to really uh, look in these many ideas of triple helix, of, of international classroom, to really gi give them a certain form. So what we did really in this process, we looked at this cloud, which basically came back from the uh, working groups and many other stakeholders, and then again, went to propose to give it some structure. And the structure uh, is as follows. Number one, we want to continue to be innovating in innovative in education. That means to innovate ourselves, but also to uh, be an innovator in a broader sense, which means that we will uh, continue to be the university that offers problem-based learning over the whole width of the university, and that we innovate that. We have this project called Leading and Learning Program, where the one, one, one segment of this project was back to basics. Really look in a process, this problem-based approach can become more diffuse. Look back, what are really the basic principles and how we can maintain them and develop them. The international classroom is, is really important for us. And as I said, innovation education, if you want to be an innovator in education, you also have to do research on innovation in education. And that's what we are committed to. Then our research, we basically cluster these research interdisciplinarity around three themes. I already mentioned them, Europe and the globalizing world, quality of life, learning and innovation. Again, very, very broad. But if you read in our strategic program in more detail, there are lots of examples given there what we mean by it. And there are also some of the speakers representing these programs will tell you more specifically and give you some examples. And when we look, for example, at quality of life, you will see here a lot of it is it's devoted around topics in the Maastricht University Medical Center, such as the strong cardiovascular groups, the strong groups in nutrition, toxicology, and metabolism. Then we have uh, uh, actually in the medical center, as well as in our faculty of psychology and neuroscience, a very strong psychology neuroscience group. We have around the uh, 
uh, sent a, the, the, our school Capri, a very uh, uh, strong expertise in innovation of care. And this discussion about quality of life also then causes then again the question, for example, should we put this together even in a more compact way, for example, to create one graduate school in Maastricht, for example, for health and life sciences. But this is a process that we have to go through. But it contains also societal aspects, ethics, human rights, business and economics of life science that we want to bring together and that will be funded together. And Annemie Scholz will give an example what is behind this? So I don't want to, to uh, I will leave that to her. Then if you look at learning and innovation, uh, as I said, uh, if you want to be an innovator in education, you also have to do research on innovation in education, and that's what we do here. Some of the issues that have been identified in this progress, learning and evidence-based education, the cultures of innovation and risk assessment, then the, the innovation for sustainable uh, development and what this means in terms of the learning process, but also entrepreneurship and technological innovation, social innovation and decision-making and learning. These are some of the themes that I've identified and we go now in the process to condense them even further. Again, there will be uh, uh, an example uh, in uh, a lecture following my short presentations. And lastly, Europe in a globalizing world. Uh, this is a university which is only an hour away from Brussels if there are no traffic jams. And um, there are a lot of activities in our research portfolio, European governance, international business, globalization, justice, human rights, corporate social responsibility, European global dilemmas. And they're all distributed over different faculties. And the idea behind our research approach is to really bring them together and strengthen the interaction and strengthen also the research power and in our strategic program we also set aside funds to stimulate this interaction. And finally, if you want to be a networker, you have to be also a networker internationally and for us uh, the international aspect means of course the world but particularly also our region, our region without borders. Uh, for example, in the whole Brainport 2020 initiatives, which is an initiative for the development of Southeast of Netherlands, the further development as a knowledge economy, we have taken the role to really explore the cross-border collaborations with Hasselt, with Aachen, and the hope in the future also with uh, Liège. But of course, we also have international networks that we explore. and. When I talk about the national networks, I don't mean letters of intent that you have with 130 universities in the world. We like to uh, network with partners where we have share similar content, similar history, and a similar also interest in research questions. And this is, of course, um, not meant to be international. Uh, the University Medical Center Maastricht is in Maastricht, but it's on the other side of the Maas. And for some uh, old Maastrichtenaar, this is a foreign country, but that's why it came on this list. Uh, we are also very busy to, uh, provi to provide a very unique structure to really integrate uh, the university with the hospital in an in a, in a, in a innovative way to strengthen uh, the region, also to strengthen our structure and Output, and this is uh, in a, a rather quick overview uh, where we stand. If you want to know more about our strategic program, there is uh, about 40-page brochure that details this uh, in further depth. And um, I think we should. I suggest that we have uh, now go over to the presentations where we also have some time for discussions to become more specifically. And uh, uh, the first speaker will be Annemie Scholz, who will, in the context of quality of life, present a program that has been developed within this initiative, which is called Eat Well. And this is uh, uh, also a preview of our coming uh, coffee break, but also has some scientific content. Annemie. <laughs> 